together tomorrow, and uh, we got to stick to the process. We got to continue to improve. Um, you know, we showed obviously signs, and 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 after a, a kind of a, you know, not a, not a great first quarter defensively, we we found our way back into the game, had a lead, and then you know, 45 is too much. So tried to catch up and had a couple chances, but just too many pockets of the game where we didn't play well enough. You had a guy like Desmond Bain who has that impressive second half. Um, the defense was able to kind of contain him, especially in that first half. What changed mm-hmm. physically with him kind of going off? Yeah, I thought we lost him too many times. You know, we were we were uh, not staying attached. Um, we weren't talking, so there was a little confusion, and, and he was getting space, and we weren't being able to catch up. So. Just losing kind of our game plan and our coverages, and um, he got free too often. Obviously, he made everything, but um, you know we gave him too many opportunities as well. Steve, what do you think the biggest issue is right now? Yeah, I think you know, in, in, in some ways, you could just say that this group hasn't played together a lot. So um, you know, there's not that common experiences, and so we have these pockets of play where it's like. You know, they we're looking around a little bit at each other, like, I thought you were going to take that. I thought I had this. And so I think just that familiarity with one another is a big part of it. Is a, an example of that play kind of the play during their 23 to 5 run where they saved the ball hmm. out of bounds? It hmm. looks like there was a little bit of confusion there. And if that's the case, if this is still a, I don't say young team, but a growing team, do you feel the need personally that maybe to call a timeout there as opposed to letting maybe? guys that have been together a little longer figure things out. Well, I'd already called one with uh, two and two minutes into the half, so I didn't want to keep calling them. You know, I didn't want to burn them all in case we find ourselves back in the game. So, you know, it's, it's sometimes it's these decisions are, you know, it could go either way. But, uh, you know, I tried to, to, to get back, uh, get our group back focused by calling a timeout early into the, into the third. Um, clearly didn't work, but it was a bit of everything, you know, discipline, uh, communication, 50-50 balls, you know, you add it all up, and they were hot, and when they get hot, you can't make mistakes like we did. Steve, is there a common thread you see with Ben's foul issues in the first three games? I think Rust. You know, I just don't think he's played a lot of basketball. Um, so he's just trying to get his his game back, his confidence, and the familiarity. You know, it's been 18 months, basically, so uh, that's a long period of, of inactivity. And um, for anyone who's played the game, you know, that's very difficult. Steve, too, the point of the a lot of it. I mean, for, for Ben in particular, but for the group, collective reps is important. But for Ben, I think, you know, we have to have some patience with him. We're going to push him. We're going to support him, uh, challenge him. At the same time, like I said, anyone who's played knows there's not, you can't replicate the game. So when you, when you don't play in an NBA game for however long it was, 16, 18 months, you know, it does take time to, to get a feel for it again. And, and you know, f- unfortunately, that's going to gonna have some painful moments for him, but at the same time, it shows he's got a long way, so he got a lot of growth to do to get back to where he is, and he's already showed a lot of glimpses, so, you know, he's going to get there. It's just a matter of getting the, the support and, and hopefully getting there as quick as possible. I know, in his case specifically, you talked about how I'm not really trying to recast him into some jump shooter mm-hmm. point guy, but does he need to at least be more aggressive driving the ball yes. and getting into the paint yeah. because if they're going to defend him five on four? Yeah. That's a little bit of, of the, you know, the rust, right? And he's the confidence, not only physically, but uh, with the rhythm of the game to, to go to the basket. You can see him trying at times, uh, and that's great. We want to keep pushing him to try to break through and, and, and force the issue a little bit at times, even if he makes mistakes, just so that we can see him be aggressive and start to find a rhythm for, for, for doing so. But uh, he, he's going to get there. He's going to get there. It's just uh, it's, I, I, I know it's not easy for him. It's been a long time, new group, and a back surgery. You add it all up, and we have to have some patience with him. Steve, a lot was made going into the game about the rebound, the down low match. Was really good performance really good for long stretches you know there was a couple pockets where they got pivotal offensive rebounds or 50 50 balls um which you know is a is a staple of what they do uh but you know i thought that for large pockets of the game the physicality was there the rebounding was there um but you know too much sloppiness i think too much uh we had too many errors lack of discipline at times and 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 they got hot so you know it's one thing to to make errors and they miss threes when they make them all you know it's gonna be really hard to stay in the game Game was very chippy, a lot of fouls. Uh, I guess the Grizzlies are known for having playing games like that. Uh, how did you, how are you guys able to kind of navigate through that? 
I thought our guys fought. You know, I thought that the you know we made mistakes, but we fought. We we I thought tried to match the physicality the best we could. I thought I was happy with the compete level. We just got to continue to improve and be more disciplined as we um, get that familiarity with one another. Yeah, I mean, all the you know, every year roster sort of has a little bit of a different makeup, but uh, you know, I think between Nick Dayron and Ben, we 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 can get over the line. It's just the, everyone's got to grow. You know, Dayron's 20 years old; it's a lot for him to 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 get up to speed quickly. You know, Nick's still a developing player, but has come a long way, and and Ben is uh, playing in a different role sometimes when he's the five. So um, it's early, and we'll keep developing it, and uh, you know, we'll be okay.